Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to Gold Line Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte and we are taking a look today at my predictions for the 50th anniversary for the New York Islanders. So we already got the the logo released. Uh, they've been showing it a lot to season ticket holders. They've shown it now in the arena. This this is the legit thing. A lot of people are making fun of it, saying it looks like somebody just made it on Photoshop. The the 50 looks like more of an O than a zero, and it, it just did not go over well. But the NH, the Islanders are sticking with this logo. Um, and when you look at the actual logo, it's actually, I mean, I think it's fine. It's got the gold for 50 years. That makes sense. Um, and you have the classic vintage Islander logo. That's their expansion draft logo. That is not the one that we see today. It looks slightly different. It's pretty much the same logo. But again, if you look at it, um, very slight differences. And I think it's, I think it's nice. I do actually like it. Uh, with that said, there's some questions. So the first thing is, we're going to go over jerseys. Now, obviously, the Islanders are going to have a 50th anniversary jersey. They're going to have a patch on the jersey. As well as, I hope, they do something to the center ice logo. So we're going to go over those two things in particular today. So the first one is the center ice logo. Now, the center ice logo, I would expect, is going to be fairly the same. Except they might take out the Islander logo in the middle. And make it just the big 50, just blow up the 50 logo and just have that as your center ice logo. So you have the 5 on one side of the of the line and then the 0 or the O, oh, whatever you want to call it, on the other side. I think they could do something just that simple. Have that light blue color in the background. You call it a day. There's also the scenario where the honors maybe play around with how it'll look on the ice. Instead of just doing that, maybe they do something like the Flyers did, right? The Flyers had the keystone um, in the background, and then they had their logo over it and, and kind of do it that way. There's a couple ways the Islanders could go about this because the fact that they incorporated the Islander logo in the actual, like, in the actual 50 makes you wonder, do they need to have the 50th logo and then the 50, like, and then the, the regular logo behind it? You don't necessarily need to do that, so... It'll be kind of interesting what they do, but like I said, I think they could go simply just that route. Just have a big 50, the center of the ice, with this logo, and call it a day. And maybe you have a gold circle around it. Maybe you do something cool where you put, I think the year they were brought into the league, either 1972, 73, you have that on one side, and then 2022 on the other side. I think that would be pretty interesting. I think that would be a nice look. Um, so that's that side of things. Now jerseys. Now jerseys is kind of interesting because there's a lot of different things the Islanders can do. So the first thing I'm thinking here is do the Islanders go with something um, similar to what we've seen some other teams do in terms of throwback jerseys? Now this first one here is the inaugural season jersey the Islanders wore. And if you're looking at it, it's a blue, right? They got the blue and the white jersey with the orange orange numbers and letters now i think that's interesting because it's just orange there's no you could clearly tell when you look at it it looks different right so the owners could just do that that would be the most lou lamorello islanders thing to do is just make them the classic orange numbers and and have them wear that jersey we've seen the owners bring that back for their 40th anniversary um i think for their 35th or 40 for some reason they celebrated 40 i don't know why it was that big of a deal um, but different celebrations, they brought that kind of uniform back in the past. Maybe they just do that again. The other option here that I have is something, again, we're going back to what the Flyers did, because they did a pretty good job. The LA Kings did this as well for their 50th anniversary, is a gold uh, coloring into the actual uniform. Now, this seems like a very drastic change especially with Lou Lamorello having so much control over this team to the point where they couldn't have player named like food items in UBS arena that is how crazy Lou Lamorello was about this whole thing that like you couldn't get a Pajot PB&J or whatever right like it's everything's about the team so something like this this is very non-traditional would the owners go the route of having a glimpse of gold in their sleeves and on the waistband as well as on the actual logo 
Because like I said, we've seen the Flyers do it and the LA Kings in the past 10 years. Would the Islanders do that? Not to mention there's also gold numbering on the sleeves and on the back. That is a stretch for the Islanders, but I would really like that. I think this is just such a perfect opportunity to do that. I think these jerseys would sell pretty well if the Islanders did that. Because I know those jerseys do that I just mentioned in LA and Philly. I think there's a perfect opportunity for the Islanders to step out of their comfort zone with this jersey. Obviously, it's the white jersey. And the reason for that, you'd be saying, well, isn't that their away jersey, right? The Sabres did the same thing. But you have to remember, you know, that is a more modern thing. Back in the day, the white jersey was the home uniform for the teams. And then it started to change once... um, once we started getting into the 90s and early 2000s, that's when things uh, eventually changed. And so that's, in terms of more of a a um, like a vintage look, you obviously go with the white jersey because that's kind of what that's paying homage to. Um, I think that's a home run. I, I think that is really what the Islanders should do. I think that's, it's not over the top, but it's also incorporating things that are different and celebrating this it's pretty big feat. I mean, 50 years in the league, that is something to be proud of as an organization, especially with how things have been for the Islanders really over the past two decades now. Um, so there's that. There's also the possibility that the Islanders bring back jerseys we've seen in the past. Obviously, an example is one I'm wearing right now, the pumpkin jersey they wore in the early 2000s. That's obviously something you can modernize and bring back in some form. The other option is maybe you bring back something that we've seen in the late 90s and into the 2000s, and that's the fisherman jersey. Now, a lot of people, again, this depends on the generation you were grown up in because a lot of people, younger generation, they love the fisherman jersey. It's a cool-looking jersey, got the waves and stuff like that. You ask Islander fans, though, that grew up during that time, a lot of bad stuff happened with the Islanders organization. They had... A fraud tycoon billionaire from Texas, John Spano, take over the Islanders, put basically put the team into bankruptcy. Um, they traded Zidane Chara, who now is back, funny enough how things come full circle, Jason Spezza. Um, the whole Luongo, DiPietro situation happened around that time. There was uh, obviously... Um, Mike Milbury as the GM, like uh, that is a time frame that a lot of Islander fans would like to forget about. So that's why if you grew up during that time, you that jersey's very hated, and it was Gordon's fish sticks and all of that stuff. Um, you know, Ranger fans and Devil fans calling the Islanders fish sticks. I, I don't see Lou Lamarello wanting to go down that route, but that's obviously something that's going to be considered. There's also another opportunity here for the reverse retro jersey if the Islanders. Don't want to go that route as a 50th anniversary third jersey. Do they maybe go the reverse retro route? And that's something that could be on the table as well. Um, and then really other than that, I mean, do you go back to like classic vintage 80s Islander jerseys? Because that's something that you could do also. And that would definitely get the appeal of the older fans. And it's a different look for the newer Islander fans. So I think that's something that you could kind of get both with as well. Um, but again, I, I think truthfully, what will the Islanders go with? I truly think the Islanders will go with the basic, just the orange Jersey, um, either this Jersey or even this might be too much for Lou, the orange lettering on their classic Jersey. I do think that's what they will do. Now, obviously I'm going to say what they should do is for their 50th anniversary, you bring in that white Jersey with the gold around it. And then you have a reverse retro of the Fisherman jersey returning. I think that's what the Islanders should do. But let me know what you guys think the Islanders should do for their 50th anniversary in terms of the center ice logo as well as their uniform. Because I think we're going to see some changes here. I do think the Islanders' current third uniform, which is the NY with you know the, the brought back one from 2018. I could see the Islanders retiring that jersey um, and bringing in a new third here for their 50th anniversary, and that kind of being the end of that uh, era for the Islanders. But let me know what you guys think. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again next time.